So that last wall was able to go up pretty quickly. The good news is I was able to kind of put all of that together all at once and stand the whole thing up all at once with the backhoe. That made things really efficient and it seemed like we made a whole lot of progress real fast. Unfortunately, I don't really have that option on this side. There's a pretty big height difference between the ground and the top of this pad here just before we're able to actually build that retaining wall and get all that filled in. So unfortunately I can't really use the backhoe because the backhoe isn't quite tall enough to be able to get that wall actually stood up uh, if it were all one piece. Now unfortunately the other thing is, is that I don't really have any backup today until a lot later. So I've got to try to figure out how I can actually get this wall up by myself. So lots of people have done it before so hopefully I can figure it out too. <clears throat>
We always do it. So we've got three of the four walls of our first floor. Yes, the first floor of a equipment barn built. So the big thing that we want to get done with today is just wrapping up with that final wall. And that way we can actually start putting in the floor joists for the second floor. So that's really going to be my primary project as of this morning. Right now, again, I don't really have a lot of help until a little bit later on today. And so hopefully I can get that wrapped up and then we can get the rest of the beam put in and then get those floor joists done. And then we'll actually have our second floor that we get to start on.
it's cold today. Well, we were able to get all of the floor joists up for the second floor, so I'm really happy about finally knocking that portion of it out. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna get all the subfloor up there, but the problem is, is I have no way to safely get up there and actually walk around. So what I'm gonna to try to do today is I'm gonna to try to see if I can work on actually getting the stairs built. So while I'm doing that, Ethan's gonna see if we can work on getting a lot of these joists blocked out, and that way we can add a little bit of stability to those. Steps are really wide. <laughs> yeah, but you know, when you're carrying stuff, you don't like tight spaces. Cold really slows you down. Finally, that project is over with. That was the most tedious thing that I've done so far, especially with the weather not being so great. It has been cold almost every single night, and it's gotten cold enough to where it's almost just hard to even get my fingers to even move, much less to think to do the math that I needed to actually finish those steps. But that's over with. The good thing is, is now we can actually start on the second floor.
safety first. Life hack, instead of spending a whole bunch of money on bolts, just get some thread rod, cut off the link you need. So much cheaper. It wasn't my idea. Thanks, Pat from Shelter Institute.